Welcome to our channel. We are Technic Force and we help grow your business online. Please hit the subscribe button to get more updates. Introducing Google Vids AI and how to use it. I just got access to a brand new AI tool from Google. It's called Google Vids and it's AI powered video creation specifically designed for work. It takes place inside of Google Workspace and in this video, I want to show you exactly how to use it step by step. And I want to show you how to get access because right now it's an early access so you may not have the access yet. But I'll still show you how it works and hopefully if you have access, you could follow along. Now if they do release this widely, it's going to be part of Google Workspace. So Google Docs, Google Sheets, Google Slides, all of that. This looks like it's taking place in the same platform and the way it works is it will use Google Gemini, which is Google's AI, to then turn a text prompt from this box into a complete video. And then I'm going to show you exactly all the different editing options because they actually, unlike a lot of AI tools, give you a ton of editing options with each video. Now let me explain how you get access first if you're watching this upon its release. So this is something called Google Workspace Labs. This is where they roll out new AI and they invite you if you have a Google Workspace account. So I had a Google Workspace account, so they automatically added me to it. It's an invite only application and it says right here and I'll link this page in the description. If you want to check if you have access to Workspace Labs, all you have to do is open Google Docs and see if you have this little right icon. So in the same Google account, I just open a Google Docs and if you click and you see help me write, that means you're already part of Google Labs. They do have a website, it's called labs.google and they show all kinds of different AI tools that right now are not widely released and are invite only. They have a ton of different creative tools too. So if you want to check out this page, this is at labs.google. But if you do have access, while well, this is in that experimental stage, you could actually access it. I just went to docs.google.com slash videos. And this is the new Google Vids AI, where you could basically create new videos. If you've ever used Google Docs, Google Sheets, same exact layout, right? So you just press the plus here and it's going to create that new video. And you can see here the prompt box. Now let me show you exactly how this works. So it says describe your video in a few sentences. And then you could use this at mention sign to include files that are inside of your Google Drive to pull that in so you could use that data to create that video for you. That is extremely powerful, right? Really, Google is the only one that could do that. If you use other devices in their workspace, right, if you have Google Docs and Google Sheets and you have your data, you have your presentations, if you have all your information there, you could pull those in into the chat. Now here, they have a ton of different examples for us to get started as a prompt. So I could show you some of these as an example. And this gives you a really good idea what this is meant to do for you. I chose this how to run a successful launch review for a pilot program. Focus on how to set clear goals, reviewing large data sets concisely, and ensuring clear next steps for the pilot. This will be shared with employees to improve meeting efficiency. So that is the prompt. If you make training videos and internal videos for medium-sized companies, these are the type of videos. They're obviously going to be a lot more custom through that company than what this is going to give you. But this is kind of taking it to that step where right now, usually you see these through Google slide presentation or someone shares some kind of an email that breaks these down. But now anybody could create a video using this Gemini AI tool with their Google vids. You have also here at the left side, help me write, templates, record, and upload. Now let me click next. And in a few seconds, it's going to create this outline and everything is editable. So I could type in different texts and then in the next page, it's going to be editable too. Once we finalize it, I could add another things here that the AI did not pull in. And then remember that at mention sign, you want to use that to bring in file docs and sheets you have. And I'm going to experiment with that a little bit more here. It looks like this is our complete presentation. I could delete again, add or edit. Then I could press next here. And as you can see, they have a ton of different templates. You can start here, but I notice when you come to this page, I only had a few different choices for how this could look. So I'm going to choose one of these right here. And here's my video. And I could see it's not going to have the text just yet. It just has placeholder text to show you what it's going to look like. And kind of each little clip is going to show up right here in a little preview below. Let's click this, create this draft video. It seems to work really fast. It only took a few seconds here to create it. And this is the final result. 
Now let me show you exactly how this works because I think they've done a really good job giving us a lot of manual control with these type of videos. If you hire someone or company to do this, obviously it takes quite a while, right? To turn any type of documentation you have, meeting notes that you have into a video, much easier to share and get information across. Obviously I create videos, so I think this is just a great way to share any work-related resource. Now let me select the first slide to show you all the different things that could be editable. So all the text, obviously this is just like any slideshow. If you use Google Slides, it works the same way. You could edit any text, just double click. Now any type of image over here, they're going to give you some AI tools below. This removes the background, for example. This is going to change the animation of it. You can choose the animations at the right side. Just wait for it. And there you go. You have some formatting options here at the right side. Like if you want to do any of these more advanced formatting and with any of these images. If I go to the right side, I could click on this talk media library and I could see all kinds of different images. I could put in if I wanted to switch that out and then obviously fit that into this box. You also have create images with Gemini. So this is a tool they've had for a while, but you could type in a prompt and generate an image here. So you don't have to use talk if you want to use AI generated. They also have these four templates as well. So you could just replace an entire slide with templates. They do give you a lot of manual control, even though AI creates that overall template for you. You could actually use any of these other options. They have a text tool over here too. They have a shape tool, so all kinds of different things you could do. And then I collapse this one too. You have the script option at the very bottom. So this script is not actually what's showing up on your slideshow. But this script is something that is created with the AI, again, based on your presentation, based on your data, if you gave it any data. You could go ahead and record it with a teleprompter. So you could choose this option here and it pops up right now. My laptop is closed over here, but this is going to give access to your camera and you could record it and drop it right into there. You could always go ahead and share your screen over here. So they've made it really easy to replace. For example, this one had a video. So if I go to this one, it says record a video. I just click over here, brings me to this page. I could record a video. So they've created a bunch of different easy steps for you to make an actual presentation. Because typically when we create these for internal training or internal communication for companies, a lot of it is going to be the leader of teams or the CEO of that company creating a little short videos that get dropped into a final video, which is exactly what is designed for. And again, as I mentioned, everything is editable. We also have royalty free music track, which you should be able to find more in the stock library. So again, we have video stock. Let's see music right here. They have a bunch of different music tracks based on different types of categories that you choose from. So if I wanted an ambient sound, a lot of corporate videos, for example, like this could use some kind of ambient sound in the background. It shows us one by default for you, but you could go ahead and replace it with these. And what's really nice is sometimes if you have a video ready, which in a lot of cases, if I'm creating presentation like this, that's video heavy, I might already have the video. I don't need to always go ahead and click record a video. So they have an option up here for replacing a video where you could upload a video that's already on your computer. So I have this video right from my computer. I've uploaded it here. Now, if I just preview it, you can see how the video looks like. Then again, I could change any of the text to go along with the video. And with all these, you could go ahead and resize it, crop it. You have all kinds of different options on top. So this is really nice if you're used to any Google product because the layout looks very much like Google Docs and Google Sheets and things like that. It looks like it's part of your Google Drive, so it's already going to get saved automatically. You don't have to save these videos. You don't have to get any kind of external hard drive to store them. It's all going to take place inside of your Google Drive, inside of that Google Workspace account. You also have here at the top right, the share button, and just like any other Google product, I could go ahead and share a link or invite other people to collaborate with. To preview it, just press play right on top. This is going to preview the video and I haven't made any edits to it. I just kind of wanted to show you what this is all about. This is very fresh, it just came out, but you could really see nice animation here. All the animation, by the way, is fully customizable too. They let you even change the transition that takes place from one clip to another. If you want to create this kind of budget presentation or expense presentation, 
pulling in Google Sheets that are already inside of this Google account. Very useful. And I think this is going to be one of the pillar products that's going to be part of Google Workspace along with Google Docs and Google Sheets. The new Google Vids AI tool is here to make your life easier and your video experience better than ever. Check it out now and let me know what you think in the comment section. Before we end this video, let me introduce to you Vidscribe AI. Your business needs more high-quality traffic. Unlock a fresh and high-quality traffic source that 99% of your competition hasn't exploited. Rank on local language SRPs with subtitled and redub videos in hundreds of languages, all with a click. Automatically subtitle any video in the language you choose. Automatically redub voiceover videos in the language of your choice. Get local language captions, SRT for your videos for higher rankings. Transcribe, translate, and redub your videos in local languages with Vidscribe AI. Get highly accurate videos with best-in-class transcriptions, translations, and redubbing all done for you. Upload videos on auto to YouTube, to Facebook, and even to Instagram and Snapchat through Dropbox. Includes powerful training that shows you how to rank to the top with local languages, and a lot more. So what are you waiting for? Get Vidscribe AI now. Just go to vidscribe.in. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more content, and ring that notification bell. And if you have any questions, please leave a comment below. Thanks for watching.